Well, good morning, and welcome to another edition of the New Adventures of Steve Rocks. We're out here doing what they say can't be done. We're uh, in the recycling business a bit. We've got some cars we're going to take into the crusher, and we figured, you know what, we're doing this for the environment, so why not try and save a bit of fuel in the process? So we've got two neons on one car dolly. How did we do it? <laughs> well, check this out. You're going to like this. I know I said it before, I'll say it again. It is a very fine line between crazy and genius. I don't know. A few people think that I maybe have crossed that line this time. What do you think? We're in the recycling business. And what we're doing is we're taking some wrecked cars into the crusher to be recycled. So we're trying to save a bit of fuel at the same time. So we decided to take two cars at once. A little bit different way of doing it. Bite her all together, change her down to the car dolly, and uh, you know, just a little added measure of safety. Because uh, we couldn't drive very fast. We made sure that the whole world knew. Yeah, we're taking our time with this. So yeah, we're gonna take two cars to the crushing. One, one car dollar. Come on for a ride. Wow, you never guessed who just showed up. We have a guest, special guest here on the new adventures of Steve Rocks today. Check this out. And look who I had to rescue, the Cookie Monster! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Highway Patrol! <laughs> Thanks, Rock! <laughs> well, it's good to see Rocky. We, uh, for us a little treat. We're we'll saving this for afterwards. We'll be able to have a celebration of the job well done. So, uh, we're just coming down uh, North Albert here, on the divided stretch, just north of the city a bit. And we're straight to the Crusher. City Meadows. We just finished dropping cars off. We uh, we were on our way here through the industrial area. Sure turned a lot of heads, I tell you. A lot of people look when we go by with the cars double stacked like that. Even here at Wheat City, a couple guys give me the thumbs up there. So, good idea. Well, there you have it. We scaled out, got our cash. So I sat down and figured out all the expenses and everything. You know, by the time I bought fuel, the hours I've got uh, invested, the permit I had to buy for the car dolly, and, uh, you know, I didn't lose too bad. It was less than a thousand bucks, anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, we didn't make out very well, but, hey, we had fun doing it. That's what it's all about, right? So, that's it for this edition. So until next time, remember, have pride in your ride. Go back here. But eight months now, I think I've owned it. it. Cost me 300 bucks. Doing a hell of a job. Yeah, so have pride in your ride. Be cool on your stool. Have fun on your run. Definitely did that this time. But most of all, don't let your meatloaf.